There are unions who protect all, you know, the directors and unions protect the actors and unions that protect everybody on the crew. And I think it's the American Humane Association is kind of like a union organization for animals. They have really helped us keep animal safety and keep the dignity of the animal a priority. We followed the guidelines and did it the way we were supposed to. And we got the shot we needed, everyone was happy. My favorite animal actor is Flicka. Free Willy. Lassie. Black Beauty. Old Yeller. Brin Tin Tin. Hildago. Flipper. Win Dixie. You can have an incredibly violent film where a lot of human beings are shooting each other up and dying and nobody will say a word. But if you so much as push the dog, we will get calls, emails, letters, people care. We get flooded with calls, people being concerned about movies that have been shot, you know, a month ago up to 30 years ago. We'll um, field those calls and we'll say, we were on the set, everything was done safely and the animals walked home at the end of the day. If the production does not have American Humane on set and was not awarded the No Animals Were Harmed, that's when things can get dicey because the public really does want to know. Particularly for those that are conscious and aware of animals being worked and used in this industry, it gives them the, okay, they can breathe. We know that no animals were harmed in the making of that film. You would begin the process with registering your production and all of your information with American Humane. When they register, they let us know uh, the dates the animals are working, the type of action, and they would send over a, a script to us. And we will read the script within the office, um, analyze it for animal action, have that highlighted and entered into the computer, and then the reps will be provided with that information. So we would get on set and um, we would check in with our trainers, our production, and find out basically what their schedule is for the day. We do a lot of documenting when we go on a set. There's a lot of writing involved. You know, we always joke around. People get a little nervous sometimes when they see us out there with our clipboard. Um, we, we are literally riding the animal, went A to B, about 50 feet, at what speed, on what terrain, um, and how many times, and how that action was achieved. Those notes and those extensive records are then turned over to our post-production department. I screen the film, and I make sure what I see on the screen matches the representative's notes. We will determine whether or not this production really met all of the criteria. They adhered to the guidelines, the quality of care for the animals was very high, they were highly cooperative, and above all, nothing was harmed. If that is the case, then they can receive the coveted no animal was harmed and credit disclaimer, and that also carries with it the rating of monitored outstanding. One of the best tools that American Humane has is the AmericanHumane.org website. It's a fabulous place to go for all sorts of information and it's a wonderful thing for productions to be able to participate and be listed on our website. The review is there that outlines all of the animal action and how it was accomplished. It gives you whether or not it received the end credit disclaimer and it also gives you the rating. So we have a great number of people that look for that disclaimer and also look for things on the screen to make sure that they were filmed safely and that the animals were safe. If they want to know what happened with the horses in Pirates of the Caribbean, we can tell them that they can go to that website and look up Pirates of the Caribbean and see the film review and see exactly how that animal action took place and what that film was rated by American Humane. You do have people on sets that just kind of lose sight of 
the animal being an animal. I think our reps and their skill and their knowledge are able to offset a lot of the concerns right there on the movie set. Nobody wants a problem on their production. Nobody wants to have to go to our website and see that it was unacceptable because a mistake and something that could have been prevented happened. The producer is going to want the public to know that they're not actually putting the animals in jeopardy, so that's what we're going to be there for, to explain how they, how they filmed it and the, how they filmed it safely. In the end, they can say to the public, no animal was harmed in my production, and American Humane is going to stand behind that. When I see the disclaimer from the American Humane, I know that the producers are making sure that the animals are being treated fairly and justly. It just doesn't make sense that anybody would hurt an animal on purpose. I'm, I'm sure accidents can happen, but if somebody did it intentionally, would I watch it? Absolutely not. I don't want to see anything that would involve an animal being hurt. I mean, they protect actors. Why not protect the animal? They can't talk. We've got to make sure they're taken care of. It's important to me and my family to know that no animals are harmed in making up a production. At the end of the day, nothing's more important than knowing that American Humane's on the set and no animals were harmed. There are unions who protect all, you know, the directors and unions who protect the actors and unions that protect everybody on the crew. And I think it's the American Humane Association is kind of like a union organization.